In 2017, the Central Bank of Nigeria launched an intervention regime in the foreign exchange market. CBN believed the move would stabilize the Naira against other foreign currencies, especially the dollar. And since then, the bank has, through a series of intervention, demonstrated its commitment to maintaining the country's external reserves and ensure sustained liquidity and stability in the currency market. Mm. As of August this year, the CBN had injected more than $23 billion in its struggle to maintain currency liquidity and stability. The International Monetary Fund at the just concluded World Bank IMF 2018 meeting in Bali charged emerging, emerging economies, including Nigeria, to build the external reserves as buffers against the shock of rising interest rates in the monetary policy normalization regime. In response, CBN Governor Godwin Emefiele says Nigeria's present economic situation cannot allow it to focus on external reserves for now as maintaining stability of its foreign exchange market remains paramount. All right, we have joining us via Skype the chief economist, Vitiva Capital, Michael Famotori. Uh, Michael, good morning. It's good to have you join us right now. Morning. Pleasure to be here. All right. Now, when it comes to the, uh, the concept of stabilizing the Naira, uh, a lot of Nigerians certainly would not understand the intricacies and uh, what all the mechanics of what goes into stabilizing the naira when we hear foreign reserves have been depleted and is going down in fact this morning we hear that it has gone down again by one billion dollars that's right nigerians certainly will say why is that happening well, on the other hand they've been commending the stability of the naira here and there now make us understand generally how, how difficult is is the position of the CBN now in in talking about stabilizing the naira over the concept of saving? Okay, um, so I just briefly talk about the idea of how reserves actually help stabilize the naira. Um, it comes back to our old friend supply and demand, right? So the naira is traded in the global market, um, and the value of the naira is determined by supply of naira and demand for naira so what we've been what what we've had in the second half of the year is that uh, because foreign investors are or have been exiting the country um they've put a lot of pressure on the demand for naira so the demand for naira has fallen and the demand for dollars has risen as a result what should happen is that the price of the dollar or the exchange rate should go up. So the way the CBN has counter, counteracted it is basically supplying dollars and demanding for Naira to sort of balance out the um, loss of demand from the foreign investors, right? So that's what the external reserves are used for. Right? They, they, they basically just flood the market with dollars in order to artificially you know, depress the price of dollars and maintain the um, exchange rates or the price of the naira. Michael Famaruti, let's attempt to break this down a, a little further. A currency is said to be stable when the general level of um, prices measured uh, by the CPI is not uh, varying too much. We are told recently that the inflation rate has increased in the past two months uh, after consistently over a period of 18 months, uh, we've experienced some decline. But in reality, the purchasing power of the Naira has dropped. How stable can a currency be when the prices of commodities we exchange it for in the market appears to be increasing? Well, it's, um, it's a bit more complicated than that because, yes, you have to account for the inflation rates. But you also have to account for the interest rates, right? So uh, a simple analysis would suggest that because the inflation in Nigeria is much higher than inflation in the U.S., for example, that over time the naira should weaken against the dollar. But at the same time, the interest rates in Nigeria is also significantly higher than the interest rates in the U.S., um, and that in itself um, supports. Um, the naira, right? So uh, it's a lot, it's a lot more complex to unpack. Um, but the general direction, yes, is that you know, if you want to achieve a stable exchange rate, 
And one way of doing that is just ensuring that you know your own domestic inflation isn't too excessive, um, which of course the CBN has been trying to do over the last 18 months or so um, by holding the interest rates at 14%. And oftentimes they have justified this by saying that they're that they're trying to achieve price and exchange rate stability. So you can see that that's actually what has been on their minds. All right, Michael, um, how, how more beneficial is this stability? Because the, the central bank seem to be focusing so much with the injection of continuous dollars into the uh, capital, uh, uh, the, the foreign exchange market to stabilize the naira. So much effort into that. But how more beneficial is it for the Nigerian uh, economy that uh, the central bank is doing so much to stabilize the naira? We've not heard of uh, FDI's improving we've not heard of inflation rates improving we've not heard of employment rate improving and all of that we've not heard of uh, uh, production uh, improving so 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 what is the cbn try to trying trying to achieve with the so much effort going into stabilizing the naira yes yeah, so i would agree that you know um, just achieving naira stability which we have done over the last 12 months or so hasn't really turned the economy around per se uh, but you know to actually see the effect it has had i'll take your mind back to say early 2017 when the exchange rate in the black market was hitting 500 naira and it was incredibly difficult to actually find dollars in the country right um, and that was a period that was very tough for a lot of producers especially in the manufacturing sector and also quite tough for individuals that were um, that had to pay for goods and services in foreign exchange, right? So the beauty of the stable and liquid FX market over the last, I guess, 12 to 15 months is that now businesses and individuals can freely transact um, in dollars and do so relatively safe in the knowledge that the exchange rate isn't going to move too much for the, or at least in the short term, right? And it's an underrated um, benefit to have in the economy because in 2016, for, from 2015, 2016, and part of 2017, we actually didn't have that. And that's part of why we entered a recession. You know, some say that the role of CBN in maintaining the stability of Naira is becoming more limited by the day. The fact that it does not even control the supply of money directly. Uh, but help us understand what really are the factors that determine the foreign exchange value of the Naira as it is now? Well, I think what it eventually comes down to, right, is that the real exchange rate, right, is just the price of the naira in terms of dollars so an exchange rate of 360 tells us that one dollar is worth 360 naira right? and what determines how that changes over time is really the demand and supply for each currency over time so if the dollar continues to be in high demand in nigeria then over time the dollar will get more expensive i.e the exchange rate will will continue to go up, right? So that's why, say, 10 years ago, the exchange rate was around 120, 130 Naira, and now it's 360, because during that period, the dollar has either become more scarce in the country or the demand for the dollar has increased, right? So for Nigeria, um, if, if it wants to boost its exchange rate, then what it needs to do is um, try and reduce imports and try and increase exports because in doing so, it reduces the, dump, the demand for the dollar and increases the demand for the Naira. And oh. that's how you address it in the long run. Okay, uh, the, the central bank is uh, relying so much on the foreign reserves to assist the Naira, which has been doing and we've been seeing the resultant or the, the consequences of that, which uh, the foreign reserves are dropping, as it has dropped by $5 billion so far. And this is all dependent on the global crude oil prices, which certainly we don't control as a country. How sustainable is that, that we're using uh, so much money to uh, assist the Naira to stand against uh, other foreign currencies? How do we sustain that? 
Well, so the sustainability does, as you said, depend almost entirely on you know the health of crude oil prices. Um, the positive is that you know over the next nine months or so, at least prices should still be much better than anyone would have expected coming into 2018. But you're absolutely right, right? Just as how government revenues are dependent on the health of crude oil prices, external reserves are dependent on the same. Um, at the same time, you know, we should note that the CDN in the last two years or so has worked extremely hard um, to build up external reserves, right? Even getting to $48 billion around March or so, um, that, that was a process that took about two years. And, you know, they had to sacrifice quite a lot in, in terms of rationing dollars in the economy during a time when we were not earning that much from oil. Um, so this is the period where they look and they realize that actually oil earnings should be relatively healthy. This may be the time to expand reserves a little bit more just to ensure that we can show up the currency and ensure liquidity as well in the market. So we have seen the price of uh, global oil, crude price, the price of um, the global price of crude oil increase steadily over the months, and uh, for some that should be good news. How come at the same time our external reserves is dropping, and we even have challenges financing some of our programs back at home? Well, so the movement in external reserves depends on inflows and outflows. So although crude oil prices are stronger and because that all receipts should be should have been stronger over the last couple of months um outflows may have also been stronger um so that would explain why reserves are dropping and we know that the cbn has consistently intervened in different parts of the fx market and sold dollars um, at the same time i know that we had a a euro bond um maturity sometime in July, I think, of about $500 million, right? So that would have come out of the external reserves as well. And because how the CBN reports it, it's a 30-day moving average, um, you are going to see the effect of that decline slowly over time. And at the same time, even if external reserves start picking up, um, the CBN re records would only reflect it maybe in like a week or two because, you know, of how it's calculated. All right. Uh, the, the Naira is still being spoon-fed by the CBN. H how disastrous would it be for the economy if it has to be allowed to find its own level based on the forces of uh, demand and supply? Well, it would be very difficult in the short run. Um, what will happen is, you know, the landing costs of petrol will become even more expensive um, and, you know, for a lot of manufacturers and a lot of, you know, firms and so on, it's, it's, it would be quite difficult. But the positive for me is that in reality, um, we have a multiple exchange rate system, but most transactions happen at around 360 Naira, um, only relatively few, like, for example, oil um, happens at 305. So the reality right now is that convergence between that official rate and the um, NAFEX or parallel market rate would not be as hurtful as like a year ago. Um, so if anything, uh, this is a good time to sort of take that upfront cost because in the longer term, you know, having an economy with, with a managed floating exchange rate system is just more efficient um, and it's something that we haven't had since about 2014 when the oil prices began to fall. Over the years we have seen a slight and sometimes significant difference in the actual exchange rate from the bank, the parallel market, the bureau de shun. What's the significance of having a uniform figure? Well, one, I'll touch on two. The first one is that it eliminates arbitrage and leakages, meaning that someone cannot buy in one market at a lower price and go and sell in another market, right? Because that creates distortions and it means that, you know, the dollars aren't actually being used for anything productive. Um, but the more important one is as a signal of certainty, right? 
as a foreign investor, I'm looking at the exchange rate market and I'm seeing three or four prices. Mm. It it muddies the waters in in terms of me assessing the true value of the Naira. And if I'm uncertain, I'm not going to bring in my FDI, right? So for us to really attract investors, we want to be able to offer them certainty. And one aspect of certainty is FX certainty. We want them to be fairly confident that this is the actual price of the Naira, and this is what it may be next year, right? Because even the talk about co convergence that we've had over the last 12 months, it does also sort of delay investment because people may be waiting for that convergence to happen before they bring their investments into the country right so these are some of the challenges that it introduces when we, you know when we have a multiple exchange rate system okay uh michael famoroti chief economist at, at the vetiva capital thank you for talking to us this morning